Hey, welcome back. For those of you that use WooCommerce with your WordPress website for your e-commerce shop, you may have come across a warning, especially if you installed the WooCommerce PayPal checkout gateway that we did a video on not so long ago on how to get your API username, password, and signature. They're dead easy to do. The warning is that WooCommerce are retiring this particular PayPal checkout facility. It's kind of out of the blue, really. It's just kind of happened. And I got alerted to this as well. Otherwise, I might have missed this exact warning. But it's dead simple to get around. What you now have to use is the WooCommerce PayPal Payments plugin. It's free. You can either get it from the plugin store, just type in WooCommerce PayPal Payments. Or if you've got this here, you just click over here, PayPal Payments. It takes you to the WooCommerce website and you download it. It is free, so don't worry about that. Let's just have a look and see, um, do you have to do any extra steps to get this to work with PayPal? Dead, dead simple, by the way. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe and follow us to keep up to date with everything to do with Elemental and WordPress to help you, your clients and your business. Right, let's just close this down. So here you go, WooCommerce PayPal Checkout Gateway. I've now deactivated it. I haven't deleted it completely, I've just deactivated it because obviously this is the one where you will have had the warning, okay? WooCommerce PayPal Payments, it's already, I already actually already had it on this site anyway, but if you haven't, WooCommerce PayPal Payments, it's free, go and download it and install it. When you go to the settings for this, it's not gonna be too dissimilar from what you're kind of used to, you know, WooCommerce settings, payments, you go over here for PayPal checkout. And what you're gonna do is connect this to PayPal and you're gonna go through the motions. You click the button, it will then connect up to your PayPal account. You put in your email address that you're connecting to, the country you're in, and you make the connection. Obviously, when you're connecting, you may be asked to confirm with the verification process. So just do whatever works for you for however you got it set up. Yeah. Now then, I've intentionally used a personal email account, not our business one, because I just want to show you that if you go in via personal, it will say that you need to convert this into a business account. So either convert your personal account into a business one, so that you can be operating as a merchant in terms of receiving income and things like that, or you create a new business account. Now, some of you out there are going to say, well, I don't want to convert into a business account. Well, then you're going to have to go and use some other form of payment gateway but it's, it's not a bad thing to do, especially if you're trying to become a business anyway, right? So either convert to a business or log in as your own business account or create a new business account, okay? I'm not gonna just reverse out of here and log back in as our official business account. When you connect using your business account, whether you've converted or set up a new one, it will then say, do you wanna allow PayPal to connect your account with WooCommerce developers? And you may go, I don't actually know any WooCommerce developers. Are these people I can trust? Yes, just agree and connect it, all right? Save yourself the hassle and just click the blue button. And again, it's just gonna go through the same kind of thing. Do you wanna use your existing business account? Yes, we do. Now, I'm not gonna show you the full screen because it's got some confidential information, but it will ask you to put in your company registration number. So you have gotta have a think about this at the moment. If you're newly setting up a new business and you have, you have not registered your business with wherever you're based in the world, you know, UK, it's company's house, you need to have a company registration number. And if you have not got that, you're gonna come unstuck at this bit. So anyone out there that says, hey, I wanna use PayPal payments, but I do not wanna set myself up as a business because I'm gonna do it all secreti secretively in my little cupboard in my corner of my bedroom, you're gonna have to start going through the motions, okay? So I'm gonna leave it up to you to decide on what you wanna do, but make sure you do it properly and get your company registration number, and then you go to the next step. You may get to a stage though where you're gonna to have to declare who else has a percentage share in the company. So if there's more than one person, so there might be say three of you, and you might have a split of 50%, 25%, 25, or 33, 33, 33, whatever you do, you've got to declare that as well. Again, for some of you, you're thinking, hold on, we've just gone from a really simple PayPal process to now going through all of this stuff we've got to declare. I'm really sorry, but in the world we have today, and the way that sometimes businesses get set up and money is transacting and laundering and things like that, this is a more safe and secure way. I am not telling you to do this. This is how it works now with WooCommerce and PayPal payments. So again, you do all your declarations and you hit submit. So remember, more than one person, you put in their details, their address, and what percentage do they have of the company? Be honest about this. 
Now, once you've done that, you'll have a button that says, right, we're going to get back to you to make sure everything's OK, but you are allowed to receive up to £500 and things like that, you know, per transaction. So click this button to connect back to WordPress developers. You click that and you'll end up back over here. Now, I've hidden some of our confidential information about our merchant ID and things like that. But what you got to make sure you do, OK, is once you get back here, it will complete some fields for you, like what I just said, live email address, merchant ID, client ID. It populates that for you. But make sure you click this box here, enable the payment PayPal gateway. If you do not, it's not going to go through. And once you've done that, you want to then scroll down and hit save. Now, one other thing you may want to be aware of is that you do have the option for PayPal card processing. So if I go over there, it's now going to say, do I want to enable PayPal card processing? Basically, you can pay with debit cards, credit cards and things like that. And I would say, yeah, that means that people that don't have a PayPal account can still do credit card and debit cards, which is what the PayPal checkout gateway or the express was meant to be. So if you haven't got a PayPal account, you can do it. Just put in your card details. So you want to enable that So do that and click save. And basically, that's it. Now you're done. And it is a long winded process. You've got to set up your business account. You've got to submit details. You've got to give it. You've got to declare who else is part of the business and their percentage and all of that. You've got to do all of those. But you do those steps. and You now have a bit more of a bulletproof PayPal processing gateway in WooCommerce. I hope that helps anyone out there that suddenly goes, well, what do I do here? Okay, hey, like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.